apologies for the delay in getting this video to you guys as I've been a bit sick recently but let's break down week two of B League action with Tokyo Alvark versus Yokohama B Corsairs. As predicted, there were some amazing back and forth games. However, Alvark wins both over the weekend to go 4 and 0 on the season and remain undefeated. Being in company with Osaka Rivesa and the Shimane Sasanu Magic. For game one then, and it ended in an 89-80 win for Alvark, and what a game for Sebastian size. 21 points, 11 rebounds for another double-double, and when he looks, and this season, he looks to be a guy that we can rely on this year to get those second chance points for us when it's needed. Yokohama put up a good fight, however, with Inglis going for 21 points and 10 rebounds, and Kotsa getting 17 points and 12 rebounds. However, Alvart managed to hold on to get a much needed win. The main good point from this game has to be the perimeter defense. Being able to hold them to 3 to 21 from the three point line was a real win for us. In general, I think our defense this year is so much better than it was before. And if we solve the turnover problem, which I'll get into later, I don't see any team in the league even coming close to touching us. Onto that turnover problem, however, and I think it's the main area of focus that we need to work on. 14 turnovers is not a stat that we want to stay through us throughout the season. It seemed mainly that we were taking a long time to shoot the ball and being forced into taking some not so good shots, which led to us turning it over. If we tighten up on this area and look for good shots, be it passing it to the paint for the players like Sabas or Gouda, or getting a shooter open like Osakabe to take that shot, I feel like we can really cut down on the turnovers we commit throughout the game. Overall, my MVP for game one then has to be Sebastian size. I mean, the double-double was amazing from him. And he's making a case early on to be a good guest for MVP every week. I can't wait to see what he brings forward for the next two games. On to game two then, and this was the Ryan Rossiter game. He absolutely balled out. 27 points, 17 rebounds, another Alvok double-double and can't complain at all. This one ended in a 79-68 win for Alvok and it actually seemed quite close throughout the game. But that fourth quarter, Alvart just really pulled away and created that gap that's needed to win this one. Alvart really showed how much chemistry they had in this game with them passing the ball around well and showing why they are so good together as a team. It really seemed like they were able to look at game one and notice they could pass the ball around more and find that open man. The turnovers, however, were still a problem in this one. 10 plus again, and it's something that really needs to be addressed before match week number three, but I have faith that they can do it. My MVP for game two then has to be Ryan Rossiter. What a game from him. It really felt like he couldn't be touched when he had the ball, and I really hope he can carry on this pace throughout the season. Overall then, another great week for Alvark. 4-0 on the season and as a fan I couldn't be more happy at what this team is achieving and how this team is performing. On to match week 3 and we'll be facing off against the San N Neo Phoenix who are 3-1 and one on the season and these games are going to be critical for us. If we win both these games I think we will really put the division on watch and we will be the ones to beat. This will also be our first game against former Alvark member Hirotaka Yoshi who I'm sure we all miss a lot, but it'll be great to see how we match up to him and his Neo Phoenix. But I'll get more into that when I make the preview video, but for now, I hope you all have a great day. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll speak to you all soon.